the death of King Abdullah. And this had led, in fact, the U.S. President to cut short his visit. He was earlier scheduled to visit the Taj uh, in Agra on the last day of his visit. Uh, joining me now, also two more special guests joining our rolling coverage this morning. KC Singh, resplendent in his uh, yellow patka this morning. Appreciate your joining us, former ambassador. Also joining us, Sanjay Puri of the U.S.-India Political Action Committee that works and lobbies for greater relations, uh, stronger relations between the two countries. But, uh, KC, before uh, you joined us, uh, Samir and uh, Parth Ms. Parthasi were looking at the legacy issue that Mr. Obama is now concerned about. He's in his seventh year, uh, and we were contrasting Obama coming to India four years ago and today. And, and the big difference we saw is he's lady, laying out a much broader platform of, for an Indo-U.S. relationship. Is that how you see it, that Obama, too, is much more about legacy? This issue is, and today's speech, in a sense, could also be about that. He's looking now to the future. No, I think uh, even in 2010, his address to the parliament, his general speeches, uh, the the breadth was there. But I think what they are not, not trying to do is flesh it out and see what are the deliverables and don't leave it at the rhetorical level. Uh, and two things they picked up is from his side, climate change. And that's why if he gets on hydrofluorocarbons, he gets India to phase them out. And secondly, uh, Which India, he hasn't at the moment. No, but there's a commitment there. India will phase in their statement, not in our statement. That's right. That's they said the Prime Minister gave a commitment in September last year mm -hmm. that we'll phase the hydrofluorocarbons out, which Prime Minister has not shared with the country, yeah. uh, uh, because the government must take steps then to implement it. Sure. Ban the use in air conditioners, fridges, which will have economic implications and alternative technologies coming in. So that and second commitment is that we will not be a stumbling block as far as the Paris uh, meeting is concerned, which has to draw up the roadmap post Kyoto for emissions. So they've already got China more or less on board mm -hmm. and they want India, China, if both of them are on board, it will flow. So he wants that. On that then the nuclear deal is there, which is already, the resolution is already flowing into domestic political uh, mm -hmm. discussion uh, and contention and contestation. So the government I think needs to by keeping a lot of facts away from the public uh, space, mm -hmm. they, are gen they have allowed uh, uh, debate to generate, which, which should not have happened. They should have shared more. Okay. Um, and I think as we go along, because I've picked up some facts, we can go into it now or later. Sure. We'll we, we look at those specific issues, but, but in, in the general sense, is that how you look at it, that the U.S. president looking at the legacy? I think climate peace is what is being agreed is critical yeah. to, uh, to, to his attempt to sort of define his presidency in the seventh year? I think he's, uh, if you notice his demeanor, he's freed. Because as he said in the State of the Union, I have no more elections to fight. So whether he talks about outsourcing or anything else, you see a much more loser of President Obama. The last year has been very bad for him. He got hammered in the past election. So you see a much loser. And he's talking. He's, and now today you'll see him in his element with young people. This is what he thrives in, in town hall. Okay. He, he, he likes the idea of that town hall. You know, you, much like Narendra Modi. Let's be honest, you know. In, in, in a sense, if you remember, Mr. Modi's big breakthrough moment where before he sort of launched his ambitious prime ministerial campaign was at the Sriram College of Commerce here in, uh, uh, in SRCC in Delhi. Very much the town hall format, very much younger India. And, and to give credit to both President Obama and Prime Minister Modi, they've been very conscious of the demographic shift. In fact, uh, yesterday, Rajdeep, yes. I think a prime minister seemed to overshadow him because he, uh, Obama didn't have many opportunities to... Uh, even at the business meet, That's uh, right, right. they weren't really great sparkling speeches. Uh, and at the at the at the uh, tired, parade of KC, not you know, yeah. at the parade of course, the prime minister in his turban and prime minister, of, you know, I look at the kind of punishing, yeah. punishing schedule you know, that you put the U.S. president and the Indian yeah. prime minister through. The Indian prime minister obviously seems to have more energy at the moment exactly. than the U.S. president at times. Though he's 13 to, years older. Though he's 13 years older, as the as the U.S. president <laughs> remarks that you know, <laughs> Narendra Modi only seems to sleep for three or four hours. So, you know, there was a brief glimpse of the Obama we know in the dinner toast. He's a yes. funny man. He has great humor. He, he, mm -hmm. You know, the White House uh, his speeches are excellent. And I think the second uh, piece is that uh, the First Lady has been off color. And normally the, the, the magic between the two. Uh, I, I, now, you know, I, look at the way we are looking. I mean, I mean when you say off color, I think I, with regard to the First Lady, may I yes, say something? Yes, go ahead. Please do. She must bear in much remorse 
having yes. to go to Saudi Arabia instead of being photographed by the Taj. Yes. <laughs> so maybe that would, you know, no, but the Madison Square Garden also looms large, right? I mean, you also have that in the back. So Modi went to the U.S. and you had a Madison, Madison Square Garden. That was his moment, in a, in, in a sense, in the U.S. And I'm sure uh, the president would want this Chiri Fort Town Hall to be his moment, mm -hmm. where sure. he is in his full elements. And sure. 20,000 people versus, what, 2,000? No, you have no yeah. drama, Obama, with all theater Modi. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, you know, the, when, when the two meet, <laughs> yeah, obviously no, no, one no. stumps the other. <laughs> yeah, you know, they, they are both, though, fine communicators. At yeah. the end of the day... No, but with Modi, there's the additionality of theater. Correct. The sure, term and the props, the, there there are, photo, there's the serial dressing. The walk in the garden with cameras watching... And 40 uh, congressmen meeting. Meeting in, in the back gardens, sunken... Because I think it's important, in a sense, and we'll discuss this, way. It's as, it's, this visit is as important, or perhaps even more important for Prime Minister Modi yeah. than it is for the U.S. President. Sure. I mean, let's be clear, the U.S. President has other priorities, Yemen, Ukraine, he moves on to Saudi Arabia in a few hours and from now. Abe for the Abe Indian yeah. Prime Minister, no. he's got a big election coming up in, 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 in a Delhi. few days' time. Yeah. He perhaps will use uh, all his uh, foreign policy successes to establish his, his primacy in that election. And that's the way Narendra Modi is. I mean, let's, let's be honest, he likes, he thrives in theatre. He thrives in, in the idea of being a larger-than-life leader, and he's very good at it. Yeah. You know, then, and, and very few leaders have been ha, have shown that sort of easiness with uh, with the camera that uh, the prime minister has, and that's the big contrast with the previous prime minister, uh, who struggled in a sense when it came to the camera. So I think you've got a prime minister who loves the camera. You've got a U.S. president who's uh, very comfortable also in gatherings like the one he's going to have today. And remember, they've got that joint monkey bath, which is coming today at 8 p.m. on All India Radio, and no doubt will be put up on television channels as well. Let's take a pause button. There's plenty to talk about, plenty of specifics, joined by more guests in a moment from now. Let's head into a break. I also, after the break, want to go to Pune, where R.K. Lakshman's uh, last rites will be performed this morning, the eminent cartoonist, the iconic cartoonist. Plenty more on this special coverage here on Namaste Obama on Headlines Today. Yes, again.